Hey guys, look who I found. I'm back! <laughs> <laughs> so Miriam's back from France. Uh, she kind of looked at everything I did while she was gone, I think. I got everything right? Yeah. So, on to the next one. Today's flooring day. We will be installing uh, the subfloor and the insulation. That's why we are at Home Depot, Depot. the usual spot. <laughs> so yeah, we'll go get what we need and uh, take you along as usual. But first, we need to clean up a little. Yeah. The van is a mess because we keep adding more stuff into it. So, all of this has to go. So, here's the idea. This will be basically some support for the subfloor. So you can see we have the small spaces here between the ribs, the metal ribs. Every two uh, space, every two ribs, we're gonna put one start like this. Uh, we're gonna have some more over there that I have to cut before the wheel. We have this space as well to cut, same thing behind this. And then, in between these studs, we'll have this. This is some fiberglass insulation. It's R12, which I heard is pretty good, so that should be enough. The studs are one inch, so this is just enough to go over the metal ribs. And then the subfloor itself, these are three eighths of an inch. Uh, I don't know what that is in actual, uh, like in centimeters. We're started slowly to work with inches and feet, but it's really hard for Europeans, so bear with us. <laughs> so overall, the floor thickness will be a inch and three eighths. And we are not sure yet if we're only going to put studs uh, every two gap, yeah. or maybe in every gap. Yeah. And we are wondering also if we're gonna add like reflectix on top of everything. So before that big wood uh, sheet, put the reflectix. And we're talking about subfloor because at the end we're thinking of putting one specific floor kind of like in the garage space, something easy to clean. And on the other side it will be something imitating... Uh, like a vinyl floor like something yeah. not that thick because we need we need the height uh, just something prettier just to have a clean finish uh, but that's really long term for now yeah. <laughs> subflooring insulation we're gonna glue these to the van because we don't want to put holes in the in the metal underneath the van uh, to avoid rust or infiltrations gluing then we're gonna cut these guys maybe not today but eventually Miriam's gonna do the, the shape. shape of the wheels to go around them first on cardboard with this little guy but yeah first gluing then putting weight on it maybe sit for a day or two just to make sure that it's gluing properly and as you can see we have lots of stuff to put weight on it so 
should be fun. Okay, so what Miriam's doing right here is she's using a smaller piece of wood with a sharpie where she's put one mark. The mark from... where it's the furthest? Yeah, the mark where it's the further from the wall. And then she is marking little dots moving that piece of wood. So then she gets this, the shape, as you can see here. And so here is what it looks like. You can see all the dots right here. And all the way at the end, Miriam is just connecting the dots. I don't even think you have to connect the dots, do you? Yeah. You do, okay. You can see she's really focused right now. <laughs> and then we're gonna cut, we're gonna cut the cardboard, give it a try, see if that fits the wheel. And if it does, we're good to go. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if that fits. Uh, not completely. So here... Looks good. Oh no, here there is an issue here. I need to cut a bit more there. Oh, and yeah. then it will go correctly. And here too, it will be correct. Yeah. But overall, and over there... Over there, there is an issue too, or is it good? No, it's good. No, on this side so is perfect, I think. It's just that it'll... Yeah, this end is just perfect. So, quick adjustment, and then should be all good. There you have it. We have our cardboard all around the wheel that we can use to cut the real piece of our wood. subfloor. Part one is done. Not all the studs are in place, but we ran out of glue. As you can see, we're trying to put as much weight as we can on the studs that are gluing. So hopefully that'll stick. We still have this side without any studs. And these guys are not glued yet. So we still have that. Oh, this one is actually because uh, it's a longer one uh, but these guys aren't so I guess we'll uh, let the glue stick for a couple of days maybe yeah and see if it works before see if that works before doing the rest before doing the rest yeah we're back two days later this is still pretty much a big mess yeah still a mess but as we said we're gonna buy some more glue I think we're gonna buy some more wood as well uh, just to be sure and be safe that we have enough and uh, and then we'll remove everything, see if everything sticked and oh, sticked, glued, I don't know, uh, doesn't move, and uh, we'll do the rest. Yeah, finish this. Is... All right, moment of truth. Let's see. Is it moving? It's not. Can you try? Do you want to try moving one? No. Perfect. Hey. That worked. We did it! Yay! So now on to gluing these guys. Uh, and then I have two more to install over there. And we will decide if we want to put more maybe in the space where we're gonna walk a lot. Yeah, and so yeah, today was mostly about checking in on the glue solution. Today. That works. 
You mean tonight? Yeah, tonight, in the couple of hours that we had to spare. All right, back to it. Um, so before I actually do this, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Uh, so what I've been doing in the time lapse. So you want your glue not to be on your shades. All right, all good. So you can see the glue right there doing this shape. That's what I've been, I've always been told to do. And that's also what I read uh, on the internet when looking this up. Uh, and so basically you want to put, depending on how your floor looks like, uh, if you feel you're going to have some height and some, if your floor isn't perfectly even uh, and you you feel your your piece of wood is going to be like balanced like this, balancing like this, you want to put more glue so the glue sticks uh, from your floor to your wood uh, and the like kind of the S shape, the snake shape is just to make sure that when it presses the two surface surfaces press together the glue spreads all around the area so that's what it looks like and I'm just gonna flip them over uh, apply some more pressure on it some more weight basically put all the stuff back on and then attack the rest at the end, which are not glued. Let's hope that helps. Thank you. Right, so um, the remaining studs are glued to the floor. So we'll let that stick. We're happy to see that the glue solution works. It works fine. It works actually way better than what we expected. This is all we're doing today in the couple of hours that we had after work because, were you yawning? You were. <laughs> My point exactly. It's the end of the day. We only had a couple of hours yeah. um, after work to come work on the van, but we take every opportunity we have to come and do what we can, even if it's just a little. So that way we're still seeing progress, at least to our eyes. And little by little, I guess, work is gonna get done Miriam's gonna head back to Montreal for a week, so I'll get the hopefully the flooring finished by then. And we're still uh, wondering if this space right here, in between each studs, if this won't be too soft. Like if we maybe we need another stud right there. Maybe yeah. not everywhere, especially for the cabinets and, and underneath the bed. It's maybe not useful, but where we're gonna walk a lot, maybe we m might want to add a few pieces of wood. Yeah, so before we do that, we're gonna, I'm gonna cut the insulation, uh, put it in between the ribs, the, the wood ribs, and... Uh, and then uh, put the subfloor, so yeah that will be the next mission for the flooring yeah all good yeah yeah okay back in the van another day another flooring session the remaining studs on the wall on the floor have glued perfectly they are not going anywhere that's i mean if we really want to and with the proper tools we could remove them which is kind of the point if we ever want to do it differently or do the van another way, we can still remove them there without damaging the van floor. Studs are all good. Now it's on to cutting the floor panels. I'm gonna start by doing the wheel shape, contour, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna use what Miriam did to draw the pattern on which I'm gonna cut the panel. This is the piece of cardboard that Miriam cut the other day. This is the panel that I'm gonna cut. And I've made sure that the panel was all the way at the end. Well, it's not really all the way because you can see right here. I can't go any further. Um, so make sure your panel is where you want it to be in terms of distance to the back doors. Then apply, apply your cardboard like this. Just draw this first line right there. So you apply your cardboard, you draw your first line right here, just like this. And then you slide your cardboard so it's aligned 
with the mark that you just did like this and now you know that your cardboard is perfectly aligned with the wheel and you just have to trace the contours of the cardboard that's it let's see how it works Miriam did all the work so that should work that should be perfect fit so you can see the trace right here just don't mind the footsteps we don't care that's our subfloor I think that's gonna be really easy to cut. One thing I didn't try, uh, we didn't try with Miriam, is we did the right wheel, this one, but we haven't checked if it was the same for the left one. So I'm gonna check it right now, and then I'm gonna head to the Home Depot parking lot where I'm, I feel I can, I can cut uh, more freely, because here it's, I'm on, uh, we're on a parking downtown Toronto, and we still have neighbors uh, and buildings around the parking lot. And I don't want to get into any trouble or even disturb anyone. Uh, it's a Friday night, so people might just want to chill. And I might be the only one that is crazy enough to spend my Friday night inside a tiny van. <laughs> but uh, we each have our own uh, pleasures, I guess. Pleasures? Hobbies? Anyway, let's try this. First, subfloor panel is done and that is looking pretty pretty great as you can see here we have the perfect shape right there all the way around the wheel even here that's looking amazing that's one gotta make the other one i'm pretty sure the same pattern will work the cardboard works so i'm gonna just flip this one over uh, see if that fits on the other wheel and if it does I'm just gonna use this big subfloor panel on another one to the cut and uh, we'll have our wheels pretty happy about this all right the second subfloor panel is cut as you can see here I've used the same pattern and it's fitting pretty great so now I have my two subfloor panels, this one and this one. What we want to do is cut them the same width, width. So we have two panels side by side at the rear of the van. And then the rest. So what's basically underneath that mess right here uh, is going to be one big panel. So the third panel that's just waiting for his turn right there. This one will go all the way here. Look at this. This is looking good. As you can see here underneath, there's no support where the two panels meet. Uh, so I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna figure something out to add some support in between. So I, I added the stud, as I mentioned right there. I've put all the mess on the panels to put weight and let it glue. I've actually noticed one stud underneath here that didn't glue perfectly on one specific uh, spot. So I've added some glue, I've added some weight. See the extra wheel right there. Wheel? No, tire. Tire, yes, the extra tire right here. This area right there is ready to get some work done. I'm gonna, I need a bigger piece of cardboard right here to do this shape as we've done around the wheel covers. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go get that at Home Depot right there, cause I'm still working on the Home Depot parking lot. Uh, it's actually only 10 a.m. and I've done all of this. Uh, pretty happy I woke up early today, even though it's a Saturday. 
but I really want to get some work done this weekend. And uh, the GoPro needs a rest as well. Like it's almost gonna die on me. Uh, the battery is running out, so. Home Depot, a little bit of rest, uh, maybe get a coffee or something, charge the GoPro, and then we're back at it. GoPro is charged. By the way, remember that thing we used to test the fan? This guy is clutch. This is what I've been charging the GoPro with uh, for the past, what, 30 minutes or something? And we already used it before to plug a Bluetooth speaker to get some music in the van while we were doing some work. Anyway, got the cardboard. I'm gonna use this to cut the shape all around here. Cut this last piece of subfloor, put it there. And if I get that done before it starts raining, which should be an hour, that would be a pretty good day. So no time to lose. Looking good. Miriam, you should be proud of me. I have used your technique and I have to say it's not looking too bad. Small gap here. Nope, nope, never mind. All right, all good. Tiny screw up. Remember that big piece of plywood that I had that was gonna be the third subfloor? It's here, but I've cut it a little bit too short here, which means this piece is not long enough to go there. Uh, so instead of two, uh, instead of having two remaining pieces, I'm gonna have to do three. This will make more sense when I do it, so I'll show you after. I think this, sorry, I think this is good enough. We now have one, two, and three right here. This little guy right there, which fits pretty well. I used again the cardboard to trace this round these round areas here and there so it's looking pretty great I, it shouldn't have taken so long and it shouldn't have been that difficult but I think I'm hungry and that's why I can't think straight so took me a while I've, I figured it out and I'm really happy about the results now I'm just gonna do a few pictures send them to Miriam hear this I don't know if you can hear it but uh, someone's cutting metal right next to the van and that's actually a big truck that some guy is converting into a food truck and we have a neighbor on our Home Depot parking lot that's also doing a conversion and that's awesome so we chatted for a little while looks like we're gonna be neighbors for a while another random encounter um, in the world of uh, vehicle conversions and that's pretty great I think that's a wrap for today. I cleaned up a little bit so you can see a little more what the subfloor looks like. Not too bad. The wheels are fine. All the way across here. I think this is the wider gap that we have. Yeah, I think you can fit a coin in there. So this is going to be filled with some expanding foam. Same thing for all around here. I think it looks fine. I'm happy. So yeah, uh, it's supposed to be raining even more this afternoon, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to work on the van more than I did today. Tomorrow is Sunday. Hopefully, depending on the weather, uh, it's always the same thing uh, since we're working on a parking lot. I'm gonna try to get the insulation, cut these rolls between the studs that I have underneath the underneath the subfloor. I'm gonna make sure that everything is leveled. A couple more days, I think, worth of work, worth of work, and we'll be good to go on the subfloor. I don't know if this is the end of the video, because uh, I don't know if we're gonna treat the insulation on another one. If it is, then please subscribe if you wanna see more content and the rest of our conversion. Like this video if that helped you, and follow us on Instagram, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. See you around, guys.